So how I set up the signs, you'll see the signs. There's um, four different ones, I believe. So this is what I called the circle sign. There's actually two of these. This graphic in the middle isn't the best, but it'll fit with the other sign that I have for the building or, you know, however you guys decide that you want to design it. I am using a flip book for this animation. Um, I'm sure that there's plenty of tutorials out there on how to create flip books and with the UVs that I'm going to show you in just a second, you'll be able to make your own flip books or basically follow the design that I already set up, which is the same. So, let me show you how this is. Do I have my circle boards up? So, basically, this is the UV map. I'm not really sure how well these um, circle lines are gonna show up due to compression. But basically, when you get this in your file, you'll see that you have these four circles. One, one is for the first sign that has a graphic or whatever you choose the first sign to be. This is the front and this is the back. And this is the second sign, front and back for the circles. The vertical signs, which I'm using vert to abbreviate, are gonna be set up like this. You have, you have three of them side by side, screen one, screen two, screen three. And this will all be coincided with the names that are the actual geometry like so. So in here, you see how you have vert screen four and then you have um, vert screen one, vert screen two. So that's gonna be lined up with exactly how it is in, in, in Photoshop. So screen one, screen two, screen three, screen four is a sideways. Um, the screen is not sideways, it's just so that I could have more room in the UV. I made it sideways, you have to flip the graphic in this direction. And you have what I call the three-way sign. Let me bring up the three-way sign for you real quick. So this is basically a three-way sign, you know, like if you were to do something like a Dunkin' Donuts, you could have the guy over here running, the coffee mug over here, you know, doing some coffee steam, and then put the name over here in the middle, something like that. Or you can make them all one image, however you choose to do it. Um, how that is set up though is on the Photoshop file. This is screen one, screen two, and screen three. And this widescreen um, sign right here is basically this sign right here, how I have this sign set up. So this sign is kind of um, building specific, but it can be used anywhere with your own sign. However, you can just make it fit. I'll explain to you how I did the two or three building signs. If you open up your building 12 and go into their textures, you should notice a file that says side side PSD. If you open that real quick, or you can just watch to see exactly how I designed this. So, each column you see represents a sign. So there's 10 columns. I created two signs there already in here. And this is all just layers. You can easily just come in here and design your own thing in here, right? So, if I look at building 12 real quick, blueprint. In the building 12 folder, you'll notice these same signs that I was just telling you about. So you have one through 10, and these are the first two, right? So let's open up one. All right, so this is one of the signs right here. Let's do some adjustments so that you could have an idea of exactly how to go about creating yours for your project. Oh, and remember too, there might be some geometry meshes that I forget to set to use complex collision as simple. So if you, you, know, you come across an object that you can't walk across or it's funny, 
that's most likely the reason so let's look at this sign real quick okay cool so first let's make it two-sided now I'm gonna do something real simple I'm just gonna have the words going across Okay, so I got this simple animation going around. I actually want to slow it down because this is going to be a really big sign. It's on a building, so let's actually slow it down a little. Much better. So if I combine this with the other sign, we can do something like that. 